What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Run Your Mouth podcast. We're doing it. Fucking video. Top of the line technology out here in the shed. And it's not like we have to spend hours figuring this shit out. No, we're fucking experts. We've got the Ocratum backing. We've got big sheath underwear behind us. And we're bringing you the video. Ready to go. No tech problems whatsoever. Do I seem like I'm in a bad mood because of tech? I'm not. We've got everything figured out. Good to go. These Shedcast guys, they know how to run tech. If you want to record a podcast, what are the fees for Shed Tech Operations? Priceless. 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 If you want technology this good, lighting this good, audio this good, things ready to go, it's like a MasterCard. It's fucking priceless. All right, let's get into it right off the bat. First news story I want to bring to you, Fox News. Do you see that technology? That was one click. And there's the article right in front of you. Who else is doing podcasts like this? And look, oh no, if I go this way, then I'm censored by the article. Oh no. <laughs> no uh, censors. First article I want to bring to you, Fox News. They've been having these good ass ratings for a long ass time. And guess what? They're going down. You know why they're going down? People didn't like that Fox News wasn't outraged enough over people storming the Capitol building. And it seems like, you know what viewers want? They just want whatever news station is going to be the most outraged. And guess what? We're really good at being outraged over here. Mike Nice, give me a topic to be outraged about. I'll be mad about it. Uh, avocado ice cream. Avocado ice cream sounds fucking disgusting. Why would you take something, both those things individually are delicious. Avocados, delicious. Ice cream is delicious. Why take two things that are good and then combine them and ruin them? That doesn't make sense. You had two perfectly good items. It's pretty good, actually. What, avocado ice cream? Yeah, and good. I know you would like it because me and you are both lactose intolerant and fucking it's pretty good. Oh, wait, wait, You got to take a step back. It's pretty sorry, good. Yeah. You're telling me that the avocado ice cream is non-dairy? Mm-hmm. Basically, it's yeah. chocolate ice cream, but it's just oh, made it's out of frozen avocado. So you're talking about frozen avocados yeah. with chocolate mixed in. Yes. I'm still, I'm outraged. You know it's why? It's really good. It's be- way better than you think it would be. You don't really have a right to it. <laughs> I'm still mad about this. <laughs> I gotta clip this. I'll tell you why I'm mad about this. Avocados, they belong in sandwiches. They belong in good smoothies. They don't belong in ice cream. We already have a whole world of ice cream. We got a whole world of delicious things that you're turning into dessert products. Avocado doesn't need to be one of them. Leave the avocados along, alone. Also, how many avocados do you want to eat? Like, if I, like an avocado is a good thing to take a salad and make a salad delicious, but I don't want to be eating four avocados in a day. So it's like, why would I waste my serving of avocado on ice cream? Dessert products are already delicious. I'd rather just eat a fucking cake. I don't need avocado ice cream. I don't need it. It's not adding anything to my life. Also, what's the color on this thing? Is it green or is it brown? No, it looks like regular ice cream. You'd never know the difference. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't. So that even like... sounds more artificial. I'm not into this whatsoever. Mm-hmm. You want to give me another thing to be outraged about? I'll go. I'm, I'm in go mode. I'll be pissed. Oh, no. Nick, you got something? No, I, got I have something bad, but it's... I'm already... outraged by the lack of your ability to come up with things James for me Dolan. to be upset about this. I got one, but it's already been talked about. James Dolan. What is it? Fucking Optimum again. Fucking Optimum. Uh, Wi-Fi, well, That's dude. why, uh, Wi-Fi. you know, we would have been we would have run smooth oh, here, man. but... We are running here smooth. The other well, day. now we're running smooth. No, we've been running smooth. We've been running smooth. We've never had any Priceless problems. studio it's production in a nearly 30 finished 30. We started three minutes All right, talking about not being outraged... I figured out something that puts me in a good mood. Avocado ice cream. Not avocado yeah, ice cream. You wait. It sounds disgusting. You wait. Can we sample it next week on the Shedcast? Avocado ice cream. What's before the... you leave. What were you... <laughs> I would have never guessed it to be brown. How about before I would have you thought leave? it would be green in flavor. Wouldn't no, because be... he said chocolate. So once you're throwing the chocolate There's, in... I had the vanilla one. I didn't even have the chocolate one. How do you make an avocado vanilla ice cream that's, brown. that's just white? I do not I don't know, that. know I do that. That means... I do that. Salami, no. that means... That, I do not wait, know Wait, the vanilla one was just white and the chocolate one's just brown. That means I it's would never super know artificial. All right. It was Trader Joe's, I think. Trader Joe's? I do like Trader Joe's products. No Especially, artificial, no preservative, nah, no nothing. Trader Joe's it says just, it on the fucking Trader Joe's wall. just fools you into that everything's healthy. Man, meanwhile, they got more asbestos <laughs> in their products than anybody. You heard it here first. Trader Joe's there you go. asbestos in its Trader cookies. Did you there's, see that? there's no way you can say that without getting in trouble. I feel like if anyone's got the lobby <laughs> to get you pulled from YouTube, it's, it's the, tra- the, the people yeah. of Trader Joe's. Or the fucking mesothelioma. No, uh, is Trader Joe's that big? No, they're in trouble for cultural appropriation. So, no, but then they dropped it. People <laughs> uh, fucked with them by saying, hey, you're not allowed to have... Firstly, it's kind of like a... Comp- if you had, like, a, a team called the, like, based on the Jews, but you called them, like, the Maccabees or something, and they're all fucking ripped, 
we'd be like, all right, yeah. It's like, <laughs> if you made them the Jews and, like, you had them, like, with, like, a guy coming out with, like, side curls yeah, and yeah, arguing with random people in the crowd over money, <laughs> you're like, you didn't pay enough for your ticket. We're going to need a little more money here. <laughs> that would be racist as fuck. But, like, you got the Indians. The guy looks cool. Or it's, like, the Redskins and they're tough. It's not fucking racist. So why did I get into this? You were saying, oh, the Trader Joe's thing. Anything. It's an honor to be in a Trader Joe's delicious cookie. Who's upset about that? What culture? One person tweeted it, and then it caught fire, Correct. and then Trader Joe's bitched out and said, you're right, we're going to get rid of our JoJo's or whatever it was. We're gonna no, like Trader our, Jose. Our fucking, Trader Jose. Our, our delicious tacos. But they kept Trader people... Giamotos, right? But that's the problem. It's the, re it's the retweets in the, the social media. No, but yeah, they dropped Giamotto. it. They dropped it because they realized that it was complete nonsense. Mm. Anyways, I discovered something that puts me in a great mood. Oh, it was Trader Ming. Was the other one? That's their Chinese. It is Trader Ming. What was Trader Ming? All the Chinese pro, all the all all the Asian products, like the rice, the frozen rice, all said Trader Ming on it. I guess. I think that, that they had an issue with that. Is it? If there's not really a guy named Ming. Well, is Ming like the Joe? In 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 uh, could be, you know translate to Joe because like Jose, no, but they use Giamoto no, for fucking Italian. So Ming like to Joe, I'm gonna look it up. How many Giamotos do you know? So I've been uh, You gotta come over Sometime on a Friday night I'm, I'm doing Friday night ribs That's my new thing Okay But here's what makes it It's like You know if you're going out For a good meal What, what are you, you Excited for the 10 minutes Before you go there Maybe while you order I'm using the slow cooker From the time I make it To the time I eat It's like a full 24 hours Of being in a good mood Cause you know 10 it's hours pumped. from now You yeah. got ribs coming And I, what I did was I picked up uh, Firstly While I'm making the ribs I also love um, neck bones because if you're putting like a neck bone type thing with the beef on it mm. in a crock where pot you, uh, for like over 12 hours it it, that shit is cheap renders. and it fucking breaks down where do you acquire these neck bones so I went to uh, what I like to do the park is at the moment <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> joggers <laughs> at the moment I'm just going to uh, grade A and I like getting every variation of the ribs. So you get like those big ribs that are like all thick on the bone, and then you get the ribs that are kind of like flat with the circle bone in them. The mick rib. I don't know. What, yeah, sure. And I like putting all of those and the neck bone, like two packs of each, inside the crock pot. You just fill it with every spice you can find, pinata. and then you just let it sit overnight. And then it's a full twelve hours make sandwiches? of getting excited for it. Now, no. for that, I make it. I cook it over barley. You eat it oh. on like a like a bowl yeah. with some barley, yeah. and then it's not a hand thing because at that point it's all falling off the bone. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're talking you know pure like? deliciousness here. You know what I yeah, like about my, my mouth is watering when I came over that time, and oh. you had uh, the meat in the slow cooker. I like how uh, you could eat it at different stages. When it's like medium rare, you can take a little bit out, eat it like that, then it like slowly cooks over time, and then you can like. Remember when you pulled I it had out? Beef in the slow cooker. Yeah. When you, I thought I just served you potatoes. No, and and turkey, cold turkey, and beef out of the slow cooker. Ooh, you you were really wow. in for a treat. And we had some rye. Hospitality. It was, it was a date. <laughs> Now, Damn! You you ever want to come Candle over lit? and uh, jerk off in 3D with me? I'll make you some ribs. No dinner sit. afterwards. That's, that's the first scene. <laughs> hospitality guarantee. You're Nowhere like the sit, you're but... like the best hookup up chick. You like make a sandwich afterwards. Yeah, and yeah. Sit. I'm. Uh... <laughs> if you're gonna come over and jerk oh. me off, you know it's the least I can do. Uh, oh, shit. The other thing I was thinking, I think any person who lives alone has a fear of choking to death. I think that's universal. I can't tell you how many times I was gorging myself and I was like, wow, that was a close one. <laughs> I was choked yeah. to death and Mike saved my life. Do you remember that? No, when? Years ago, we were up in Rhode Island eating at some restaurant. Me, you, and your mom, dude, we went to Rhode yeah, Island. I that's, remember that. makes it so much more embarrassing I that his mom was there. Mom was there. I, we, were like, no, we were like, what, ten, uh, 11 years old, 12 yeah. years old? What'd you choke on? A cucumber. Pre -teen. We were preteen. You know when, like, oh, you yes. know, yes. This is also, this is what uh, oh, something you can be mad about. Yeah. When restaurants just slice cucumbers, just a whole cucumber like that and then throw it in a salad. With the, like, with the skin? You got to like cut them a little bit thicker, wider, and then cut them in half again, at least. Yeah. So yeah, they're so like they a half a little of, mini half wedge a with this. Also, if you take the time to really cut your cucumbers real small, so like in those little dicey triangles and your mm -hmm. tomatoes real small, like and you can get a really salad style, yeah, that's nice. one fork. That, it makes those things taste way better. Way better. And yeah. you get more bang for your buck. Shredded, you facilitate yeah. them Shredded into more yeah. bites. Cucumbers, I'm not a fan of like chopped salads, but definitely I fucking hate cucumbers. Yeah. Up vegetables. Cucumbers were intended to be super tiny. Yeah. They're whack. But anyway, I choked on it. Yeah. The whole cucumber like that just went, oh, like, lodged in my throat. And I was like, pause. and I'm looking at pause. Mike. Pause. Yeah. Pause. And I was like, yo, I'm choking. Dude. Couldn't really fucking breathe. And Mike was just pounding my, his fucking hand on my help. back. 
and no, and he it got fucking, uh, no, it helped uh, for whatever yeah. reason. I guess it wasn't like fully like yeah, because it wasn't lost. a lot of fucking hits. It was like holy shit, and pow, it fucking pow, popped right like, out. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, remember? I was like, yeah, Yo, now I remember. It made the craziest <laughs> sound, dude. He was just like, did it fly? <laughs> no, I like it. Like was that big? And then you ate it. And then you ate it. I think it was like lettuce. Dude. Could have, like, because like I think it like caused a chain reaction or something. And we were in like a. It was like the equivalent of like a Chili's or like a Denny's no, or no, some no, shit. No, 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 it? It was like a, yeah, a family a, it, restaurant no, like that. No, uh, it was. It's um a beach restaurant. No, this is before we were we even got to the oh, beach. Oh, really? Yeah, we stopped at like a diner spot or oh, something. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I always think it'd be super embarrassing to die. Choking on food anyway Especially dude. at a beachside diner <laughs> yeah, Absolutely dude, what am I supposed to be relaxed Yeah but dying man. alone Choking is yeah. bad So here's what I'm thinking Like I live in an apartment building And I would get my neighbor's back If he was choking He would get my back If I was choking But how am I supposed to know If he's choking He can't yeah. know if I'm choking yeah. There's no system in place And while we're all just single And living in these apartments There should be a communication device for just letting someone know, hey, I'm choking in my apartment. You guys should just start choking each other. There should be a choke button. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. A choke button. Like, yeah. instead of a choke button, I was thinking right in your kitchen, it's like a light switch. All you got to do is turn it on, and then in everyone else's unit, it goes off with an alarm, and it just says, says like, the there's unit? a button for each unit. Choking. I guess the only no. problem here. No, how would they know who was choking? No, no, because it would it would be like that unit. It would be like an elevator. I guess the, buttons. It would I guess go the to only yeah, every unit has the only issue yeah. is that I guess your apartment door would be locked. Hmm. But at least then, if you're triggering that thing, someone then can call would... the cops for you. Like also, no, you or if you the... hit it, then like your shit automatically unlocked. releases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then you have to have automatic locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be worth it. But I'm just saying. In to a know lot that of like you never new... choke to death uh, in a in, hotel, maybe. In a lot of not in a lot of the new buildings, like where Doomer lives and shit, all that shit is automatic locks. You show up oh, and yeah. it's all like it's like a hotel, basically. Yeah, yeah beep, like the key beep, fobs. Beep. Yeah, yeah. You could also bodies. just learn to give yourself the Heimlich maneuver on like the back of a chair. What'd you call it? The Heimlich Heim- maneuver. Uh, Heim- I thought he said the Heimlich, like a hammock. The Heimlich. 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 The Drop your body oh, weight yeah. down onto it, and you can make yourself. Fucking... It's like your sternum. That's yeah, what you, you got to get, get up right? in here. So like right. on the, you need to. I mean, granted, what if you only have like bar stools in your house or some shit? I guess right. if you don't have the furniture. If you do it to a chick, like, can you just pretend like accidentally grab the titties <laughs> first, or do you think afterwards, like, if you get in there, I they think let tits you are grab? above the sternum. Mm, yeah. yeah. If you so save like, their life, I think mm. that you get a. a you should get a fuck. titty grab. No, you got to fuck for that. You should get a fuck out of that. You get all. You saved a whole life. Uh, you, a don't get, life. you don't get a, fuck. a whole. Life. That's basically your pussy. A thank at that you for it. Yo, like, like she I, owes like, it. Yo, I was either dead, Jesus. but because you, I'm right. alive. You get a sympathy fuck at least. I would think so. That's not sympathy. Uh, that's like a gratitude. A gratitude fuck. fuck. Like, uh, yeah, thank you for Beautiful. keeping me alive. My girl was just choking behind she... me the other day while I was playing Call of Duty. I had the uh, noise canceling headphones on. <laughs> and how long do you I think could... about it, dude? No, I was like, oh, come on, I got stopping power yeah, rounds. Yo, I can't. Be, yeah, it could <laughs> be. You know, nah, be, you know be really bad if there was a camera recording like you. Yeah. Like, and you're and she's sitting reaching there. For me, like, yeah, ah. you're sitting there with the headphones on, playing, playing Call of Duty, screaming, "I'm gonna get you, bitch! I'm gonna I'm fucking kidding. murder you, you stupid bitch! I will choke your fucking kick. face!" <laughs> and she's just behind you, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I I didn't know like it was like serious, and then like I heard like a couple like you know, yeah, and I just turned point, around, dude, and she was like, I like uh, uh, eyes were watering and shit. Like it was that bad Dude, At that point like, oh, you feel, She doesn't tap you on the shoulder Yeah what's then. she waiting for I don't know <laughs> Come on yeah, If yeah, I'm yeah. choking She I thought it would be funny If you went to go get something And just tripped on her corpse <laughs> Dude, if yeah, I, I don't know, I guess If I'm Jesus. choking Yo, if I feel that's like I'm her, about right? to choke That's on her yeah, that's I'll on grab her. your that's arm yeah. If I'm like Yo, I'm about to choke I'll grab your arm And you're like What happened? I'm like, yo, I thought I was about to choke Now I know know. Alright so let's get into The inauguration Biden has uh, He's in It's confirmed I I guess uh, Trump's not dropping the Kraken at this point It's over Biden is in And so I think maybe Even on my own website RobbieTheFire.com I want to start getting some odds going Uh, The first one I'd like to know Is how long do we think He actually makes it There was already a video That I saw on Twitter Earlier today Of Biden walking and he like through his mask you hear him say like hello to the uh to a soldier and then go um salute the soldier 
and it seemed as if maybe he had like an earpiece or what people were claiming <laughs> is he had an earpiece that was giving him instructions and he accidentally repeated what the instructions were instead of doing it. Like that classic movie scene? Yes, where you're like exactly. Te- like, oh, you're dating, you know, you're dating a yeah, 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 boy's yeah, yeah. talking in that your ear. In and he's like, shut up. And like, shut up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. use that in every yeah. movie. Yeah, so yeah. I, listen, I don't know if that's the case, but it has been widely assumed first that Biden is just no incredibly yeah. stupid. Now it's assumed that, you know, by a lot of people that he's over the hill. He was lucky. He was hanging out in his basement the whole time. He got through this process because he didn't really have to be in front of cameras. What's this going to look like when he's actually in front of cameras? So the first odd I want to put up there and we can all we can all put our wagers on the table right now. And then I will find a platform for the fans. Do you think Biden makes it through his full four years? Let, let's let, let's first make that the over under. Do you think he makes it all four? Okay, I thought I thought to be honest that yes, I know, uh, Mike. It's yes, I know. Actually, well, it's only been a couple of days. I'm I'm actually I don't know. I'm waiting for this this first month. I'm I feel like I feel like it might happen within this first. You month. You think if he makes it the month, he'll make the, it? Yeah, they don't make the it the four. I think so. Okay. Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Hot take. So it's a hard like a boost in Mario Kart. Yeah, because <laughs> I, yeah, because with, with uh, you make that first drift. Yeah, I Is think it, if they want, what are you, what are you going? Like, What's his age? Someone fill me in. That's what's not it? I'm dying. Well, no, I didn't, that's a possibility, <laughs> though. But what's his age? He, 70. State of origin, please. Can you use it in a sentence? I don't know. I don't know no. his age. Two. I'm going to guess 77, 78, yeah, maybe I'm 80s, saying around 78. But I, I think he's. Uh, I maybe he is 80. Is yeah. he touching 80? He's, he's somewhere he's in that He's touching road. 80. He's fucking old. I thought I heard a stat about him being one of the oldest, if not the oldest, yeah, presidents how are we ever electing get inaugurated. Old... He's for sure. The, he's got to be the oldest president. Yeah, ever. think about this. Yeah. Because you got to yeah. think about the technology keeping people alive longer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the people odds that in any earlier, because like already look backwards, Obama, Clinton, both younger, Bush Absolutely. younger, like older uh, Bush. No, I'm saying both Bushes were younger, yeah, 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 yeah. Trump younger. So what point? Well, except in, for the older Bush. What point <laughs> in U.S. history? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nixon right. because you know, older back then the life expectancy was, was way, down. Way yeah, less. so he's got to be the dentist. Yeah, think about this. Think about it. they could take away your grandfather's license to drive, but he could still run for president. Yeah. The Democrats like, want the Democrats I mean, want him to fucking how can you be that old? die, and then they want Kamala, uh, Kamala Harris to be Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. 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 It's Kamala. Right, what are you going? Mm, Give us Kamala. an over under. Three point five. You're saying three point five, Nick? What are you taking? I'm gonna say. Over two years, definitely. Over two years. You know what? I think that the the good over-under bet, like if I was the house, is like 1.7. Mm. I, I don't know why I'm yeah. coming up with that in my head. I'm going 1.7. Right. And uh, mm. on a one, I'm going to take the over, but here's my crazy-ass claim, is that he technically is no longer doing anything, but they don't, they, they either pretend like he's alive or they don't declare Kamala mm. The whatever, but we just see less and less of him until finally it's fades. like George Bush. <laughs> yeah, like George Bush. Like he technically wasn't doing anything. At least that's what they say. Or it's like Cheney was running everything. A lot of people think yeah, that he, he was, was actually still, drinking was, a lot. Yeah, but he was still like the president. In, really in is the just kind of more so like that. The All right. So then, uh, along those lines of you saying that he's kind of the face, at what point let's take the over under that the general public. And when I say the general public, I mean. A substantial amount of the Democrats also. So, like, if you pulled the population, let's go with seventy percent of the like the population is just like, what the fuck? And when I mean what the fuck, it's like it is clear that he's like bananas not there. Like, mm. there are so many gl- gas blunders. The thing of like, you know, where the, like he's on TV and the thing jams and he just starts talking about like recipes or you know just <laughs> the most bananas. This guy is not a functioning human being. Moment that literally everybody. Is going, hey, what the hell? How long till that? Let's go. We'll start. We'll go the other way around. We'll start with Nick. What are you going over? What, what's I the. I think that would be longer because I feel like people are not going to want to accept that, especially the fucking the Democrat side of it. They're going to they're going to back him. They have to at this point do for to the end. They can't they can't turn on him. I... You mean the the machine is so yeah. behind Biden that they yes. will manage to in whatever capacity they have to yeah. sell that he's okay. Because a whole, like he's along the whole ride, code. the Trump yeah. supporters are going to be fucking firing anything they can into their faces, and they're going to have to defend it the whole way. And he, no matter how stupid and ridiculous he might look at points, they can't, I feel like they're not going to, the, the majority are, are not going to turn on him. All right. Dude, I think he's going to be sharp as a fucking tack. <laughs> I think he's going to be the first one who gets, uh, I think he's going to be the first one who gets the Neuralink. 
And then oh, he's gonna fucking he's good. Dude, year two. Year, like, he's gonna come for re-election, oh, and he's gonna come back just like, like what, killing you, shit. You're saying like, and if he doesn't, if he, then it'll be like most in jeopardy. Like Ronald Reagan in Futurama, where yeah. he's just fucking <laughs> yeah. around forever. Legit. Yeah, with the head. If he. If the deep state exists and they mm. want the technology of this guy yeah, to be Musk. out front and center so that they can have these wars, what they're going to do is they're going to take him into a room, they're going to cut open his brain, yep. put the robot thing inside of it so it looks like fucking Biden. Yeah. Biden might be dead right now. No more slip-ups with the All of a sudden, he's just you know, sharp. Just like fucking and You're like, it. wow, how is this guy is so good? All of so his good. references are on yeah. point. Like, or I, we get him on a bunch of TRT and... And steroids and shit. I think and getting they're yoked up. they're putting whatever they can into him. Yeah. What are you I, taking I until Marvel. it becomes oh, yeah. more widespread? Like hey, that, that, what yeah. the fuck? I think to be honest, I agree a lot with Nick only because a lot of like one of my favorite quotes when he goes, "I, uh, I have hairy legs." Yeah, yeah, when he does, like, when he says stuff like that, and they go, you know, they 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 uh, my my hair turns blonde in the sun. And you're like, all right, this dude is crazy, obviously. My and everyone's like, nah. The sun. If they don't think he's crazy, then I think, it, yeah, they're behind him 100%. They're not right. going to. Yeah. I'm going to say I think that uh, it's going to it's gonna turn pretty quickly against him. And I think that once SNL and other mainstream characters, since mm. he's won, actually want to start making fun of him for being as dumb as he is mm. and not there as he is, I actually think it's going to um, turn pretty quickly. Uh, I, but if that's a good question. Do you think they go for it right away? Um, I think it's going to take gonna a little time. One? No, it's going to take a little time because mm. everyone still has the um, the country's back and there's dignity again. And we finally got rid of Trump. So there's going to be a little bit of like a honeymoon period where everyone likes this idea of there's the new normal and the government always functioned this way. And we always all got along and Trump was the only thing that was bad. They all want that lie to be true. Also, who so wants we're to be gonna... the first one to come at him like that? Well, it's, it's not so much because there's people like me. There's a lot of not mainstream things that exist that will make fun of him to the end of time. Yeah. It's more, when does the more left sources pivot? And I'm going to say it's going to be about a three month honeymoon. And now the next question prediction is Trump at the moment's like quiet, almost a little too quiet. You know, I, he hasn't tweeted yet. I don't know what he's done since he left. Well, usually, he's off they, Twitter. usually you don't go more than four hours without knowing exactly what's going on in Trump's mind. I think I'm leaning towards and I hope he just starts his own fucking television network and he goes on tour and he just keeps going fucking full out Trump. What is everyone's predictions for what Trump's up to next? We'll start with Sid this time. Uh, I don't know. He might start Bigfoot hunting with Jose Canseco. What? Hmm. Like alien and Bigfoot? I think Trump Jose and Canseco? Canseco's about to fight somebody. He just got challenged to a fight. Trump? Yes. He's about to fight <laughs> Trump. No way. Jose will pop his head off. <laughs> Raphael Palmero. Uh, he's either plotting like a fucking evil no. scientist well, he's been or he's doing nothing. But he's been taken out. off all social media, right? Nah, in all seriousness. Yeah, he got banned from every platform. I so. think uh, yeah. I think he's going to try and start a fucking yeah, his own Trump network. network. Yeah. I think uh, that's, ha, ha, that's unavoidable, right? Okay. Like, I think so. I think he's going to try and, he's going to Alex Jones it nah, because he's got too much to say and he's got a lot of support. He's got and way more support than so Alex I think Jones, he's. But I know I'm saying I think he's mm -hmm. gonna fucking just create. Why? Why not create the? Tr I mean, I don't know though. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bad move. It's, Maybe he knows it's a bad, it's a bad move for move. the country. It's gonna completely divide. Well, the country did you hear what they more. said? Yo, Rob, did you hear they said that if you listen to Fox News, you're actually less informed than not listening to any news at all. I can see they that. said that if you listen to well, only Fox that? News, uh, I read it. Um, I forgot what the article was. But I read that if you listen to only Fox News every day, you're actually less informed than listening to regular to nothing at all. And if you listen to any like uh, NPR, I guess, or like you know, like the regular that's that, that sounds to me like leftist propaganda. Uh, that's what be, I was yeah, of course. Say, that's just that's that? just a narrative. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So on that note, a very fun Donald Trump story came out that apparently on his desk, and it looks very presidential. Um, I mean, that looks like a, I don't know typical presidential paperweight of some sort um and then you look at it this and you're like all right maybe there's something really formal going on like if you were sitting in a meeting and you saw donald trump press the red button you might think it's like an austin power something's gonna open up behind you, you're gonna fall on the floor start getting roasted alive or some other country's gonna get nuked laser apparently 
It was a uh, button for Diet Coke. That's nice. Crazy. That if Di- <laughs> Donald Trump wanted a Diet Coke, he would press that button, and someone would bring in a Diet Coke. Like the fruit punch, the fruit punch water fountains. It's like a fruit punch water fountain. From deeds. That is, that is the deeds? urgency oh my God. that Donald Trump lived with. That, that if he was in the mood crazy. for Diet Coke, you better bring me my fucking Diet Coke. Now here's what's so fun about Donald Trump. We forgot how ridiculous he is as a character. My favorite Donald Trump story that we've heard thus far that came out after the fact was that when they went to North Korea and they're trying to negotiate with North Korea, apparently Kim Jong-un, you might remember this if you're a regular Run Your Mouth listener, wanted to have sex with Sarah Sanders, was giving Sarah Sanders the eye. North Korea, they don't have big white lady. That was exotic to to Kim Jong-un. He's like, I need some of that Sarah Sanders meat. I want something to grip onto. I want I want some water bed action. I want to feel that grease. I want to get that spring action. Up, down, come in 30 seconds. Because the big chicks, they got the tightest pussies. We've talked about this before. <laughs> we did, we did. <laughs> <laughs> they got that KFC inside lubricant. <laughs> the tightness. You're done in seconds. Boom. You yeah. thought you were going to show yeah. that lady you a gotta, good time? You got to practice on the hot chicks to fuck yeah, the, to go, yeah, to exactly. the big chicks. <laughs> yeah, you think like, you're like, oh man, I'm going to... I'm gonna show this chick she hasn't gotten here like oh i'm done i'm sorry um <laughs> that's why they're always going out to eat afterwards they're unsatisfied <laughs> that is not nice don't say that sid we're trying to do a live podcast is that why you make fucking beef stew for mike every time he comes over it was well, delicious but he's uh <laughs> he's elegant about it slow cook short rib Anyways, or whatever the fuck you're doing donald trump after king jong-un was making eyes with sarah sanders they're in like the limo to the airport and he starts making fun of sanders sanders that she should just take one for the team <laughs> And now, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, Sarah Sanders that. is like a Christian mom It's just yeah. hilarious I almost feel like the media stopped telling us These amazingly fun Donald Trump stories Because they don't want us to like him And you yeah. just forget how of Like he is the asshole friend of yours That you like just because he's such an asshole That it annoys other people mm-hmm. And that he's so ridiculous That like if you didn't grow up with him as a kid yeah. You wouldn't have a context for why this guy Is such a fucking buff- Like He's funny because you're, like, you're kind of laughing at him, but you've hung out with him long enough, and they stop telling us these fun stories. The fact that the president has a fucking Diet Coke button is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, when do we, like, how much time is it going to be till we start getting, like, the inside story of just, like, here was what, here was what was fucking hilarious. Like, before he went into that meeting, he had sex with Melania and had four ice cream sundaes and then <laughs> called up his daughter to ask her if she was on the rag and then he you know what I mean just like the guy is a fucking ridiculously hilarious non-human being mm. who's now like the biggest jerk off of a friend that you have you know what I mean like yeah. you all have that friend who you're like how is that guy working that job and you just would love to see him almost like Michael Scott. Like, yeah. you'd love to just watch the show of him in at meetings. <laughs> except that this is the most powerful person, at, like, ever. Yeah. When do we start getting more of these stories? Because that's that's what I'm looking out for, right? Like, yeah. uh, Diet Coke buttons all day, late night, mm-hmm. ice cream sundaes, rice and mayonnaise. I want, I want everything. I'm sure that there's, like, you know, that discretion for the people that work in the White House, like the staff oh. and stuff like that. But... There's no way in hell that they didn't have their cell phones out, like, just catching some shit from time to time. Yeah. Right. Because they know not only is it just gold in a just all sense of the matter to have that behind-the-scenes footage, but that shit probably you could sell for Usually, right. like, the untold story yeah. of the president is, mm-hmm. like, the decision-making process or some scandal of how they were making money. Yeah, or, like, Don- he used to do this, like, all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like, the president used to fucking sneak out to go to, like, this place or shit like that like donald trump's things are going to be so absurd it's going to be like he had an inflatable giraffe in the backyard he'd like to inflate so he could pet at three in the morning like that was just his so thing. his head could stick through his bedroom window and- yeah exactly <laughs> like he just the feed it branches <laughs> all right so i'm very excited for a story like those i think we will see more of them uh the other thing that's uh interesting is so now we've got this new press secretary uh, she's already taken a couple press conferences. I'm going to assume that you guys have not seen the new press secretary. Why would you assume that? Okay, so let's watch oh, a she little. She looks like a robot. Well, that's that android from Dragon Ball Z. You know, in that uh, particular picture, she does look like a the... fake person. All right, so we've got Trump leaving. We're done with Trump. We're moving on from Trump. And uh, one of the big things that they were praising of this new administration, of this inauguration ceremony, was that 
Kamala Harris will be the first ever female vice president. And, uh, of course, the article's blocked. But that's okay. You guys can see the headline. No, you can see you needed proof of the fact that uh, Kamala was both a female and that she's going to be vice president. If you didn't have this article, you might have been confused about that. But they get her up there, and they're celebrating the fact that we've got the first ever female vice president. And I'm upset with this new administration that right off the bat, they're in, they're violating Nancy Pelosi's house rules that we're not supposed to have gender. That was something Nancy Pelosi uh, put in tack is that, hey... We've got to be sympathetic towards anybody, so we can't be praising you for being male, female, gorilla. Doesn't matter what the fuck you are. We're not addressing gender, races, anything. We're, we're keeping that out of the conversation, which, by the way, I don't even understand well, Nancy Pelosi's yeah. rule, because here's what I'm thinking. Imagine, like, you're some lady from Kansas, and you spend your entire life, right, trying to become a man. That's, like, your thing. You want to become a man? I'm all, I'm all for changing genders. You want to switch up your genders? Go for it, right? You're a female your whole life. You spend a lot of money trying to become an attractive man you pull this off and then it's finally your moment you get to show up in congress you get to testify in congress and then they address you as the person from kentucky and you're like i want to be the gentleman from kentucky are you kidding me i spent my whole life getting a penis installed and now i can't even be the fucking gentleman from kentucky like everyone's trying to identify as a gender if someone just tells me hey like i used to be a chick but i want to be a dude now it's like when when a friend used to have a nickname and they tell you a different name it takes a second to get used to but you're it's like all right it's not billy anymore he's not billy anymore i by will it's william <laughs> and that by the way and you always have a couple of awkward interactions was like dude you told me you liked that nickname for your entire fucking life it's not on me but you make the adjustment because the guy's telling you he doesn't want to be called dude stop calling me piglet i'm not there billy dude <laughs> whatever it is you roll with it. You go, hey, that's cool. It's no different with the... It's like, you want to be... Uh, if you were Sam, now you want to be Sarah? God bless. I got no problem with that. Be, you can be as much Sarah as you want to be. You want to be an Elliot? It's all right. Yeah, be an Elliot. No one's, no one's got a problem with uh, with you being an Elliot. It's all right. Too many Elliots. So, man. while we're on this topic, uh, have you guys seen Biden's new um, uh, Secretary of Health? which was not a, uh, I guess, position that you heard about so much in the past, but he's got a new Secretary of Health. If uh, you're looking at the picture, it basically looks like Ron Bennington is playing a yes. female wizard. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It looks Harry like Potter, it's, it's a it. new Harry Potter. And <laughs> Ron Bennington's been recruited as... Transgender uh, <laughs> wizard? Exactly. Uh, and Gender what? studies wizard. Now, once again, I don't care if you're changing genders. It's fine. I really think that, that, that this person has decided to be a female. She's even got a tit for a chin. She is going for it. Wait, can I say one thing? Yeah, I says, thought it was a lady until you said it looked like Ron, Ron Bennington. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, then there you go. She is put in the work she has put in the time but here's the thing about being a health minister i would think you'd have to look healthy what is this person going to teach us about eating twinkies like you know what how are you the health minister when like put caitlin jenner in charge that would make her excellent like she could tell me she's about health fucking she looks fit. are you, are you kidding me yeah. for she's an old lady yeah. dude for an old lady she's got a nice ass for an old lady <laughs> which vague. might I mean, be from the time she spent as a dude training the olympics i don't know you don't think it's built what you don't think it's built we had this track and field conversation oh, we, you true. and i did no you remember we had the conversation about the who's who's got the best glutes out of the uh the games the and you said that it was the pole vaulters and oh we yeah, yeah, but was, I was talking about, about ladies. Putters, so you're though. going, you're going real deep, gay right now. The shot putter. Well, are he's thick. a he or she's a lady. Yeah, lady but shot was, putter. Yeah, it's like, thick. but she big, wasn't when you were watching those breed. Olympic she's videos. Thick. She's playing rugby too. Ah, uh, I don't know. Some people would argue with that. Some people would say she always was. What do you mean? That's what I mean. Oh, you mean that she was always? Some people say but she, she wasn't was. identifying as a lady at the yeah, time. Maybe not. So you're saying that even when. Caitlyn yeah. was was doing the Bruce thing, oh, you know. Yeah. She was she yep. was still yep. doing Bruce. Yep. If you were a dude and you were watching Bruce mm -hmm. while he was Bruce mm -hmm. running, and you're like, "Yo, you think Bruce got a nice ass? That's not gay." Not anymore. Because even He's, then, it was for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Retroactively, right. it wasn't gay. Yeah, the the grandfather clause. Right, dude, you're fucking woke. Right, like you might you might. <laughs> <laughs> you're woke. I never knew Holy that shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. I'm just trying to get with the times because you know they're they're shutting you down if uh, you're not up to speed with these things. So you, you got to do what you can to try and wrap your head around. That one it. should be on the Soho forum. What? That debate right there. Whether or not you were gay, <laughs> if you thought Bruce Jenner was attractive, if you were male were and like, you thought. Bruce Jenner I've been was thinking about that no Bruce yeah. Jenner. There is no I thought Bruce I was Jenner. gay for my whole oh, life. Bruce doesn't exist anymore? No. 
No, I feel like that's, that's a like a dead name. No, you I feel can't... like that's like in time travel movies when there's two separate timelines, that separate oh, timeline yeah. still exists. So it's like moving forward, he's Caitlyn, yeah. but you can't erase the fact that he history. was that's Bruce. Not, that's but not you, existing yeah. now. That's, yeah, yeah that's in a different time period. It already happened. Yeah. Could I You're say some, well, could I, I say something fun. on Run yeah. Your Mouth right now? Please. This is crazy because I thought about when, you know, like having this conversation before. Like recently, it's wild that just came up, but Mikey, when me and you went to my friend's uh, rooftop party, uh, my friend who I've known since I was a kid uh, is, was in the process of transitioning. And, uh, you know, I, I had Which a... direction? It, uh, male to female. But and I... And I not medically though. Is male to uh, female more common than female to not, male? I think no, so. He's not medically transitioned. Uh, I don't know whether he he's is original. So I, he's a transgender. I don't know. I, he might. I don't know though. You know. So like, oh, I, I don't want to say. Female. I don't want to say. You know, shit. I don't. She know She identifies about. as a woman. Yeah, but so she was transitioning at the time, and, and you know, I I hadn't known her like that at all. You know, like I like we used to hang out as kids. And like I like uh, our our little brothers played football together like they were friends so like we would hang out there like sleepovers at their house watch Harry Potter and shit like that so when we were at this party you know there was a bunch of you know people from New York you know woke people whatever that were at this party and me and Mikey were having a great time and I'm with my friend who you know I haven't seen in a long time like you know and yeah he's dressed like or she was dressed like a, a um like a woman at the time but properly like, yeah but we were but we were like hanging out having a good time right and and we're talking and i'm telling stories like because i'm like yo yeah. my boy you know like oh we used to do da, 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 da. and a couple of you know her friends were like really taken back and like pulled her aside and was like yo like, he's dead naming you like in front oh, of they us did that? yeah like in front I of knew us it was like, on on the route they're like they were, yo he's dead named because his name was or her was, her name was chris and and i but i kept saying him like i kept being like yo Oh man, we used to chill. Yo, this dude used to da da da. Like, just because that's how I talk, you know? And this is my, like, I grew up, uh, like, hanging out with this kid. But, from but, time, you but know, when like, you hung out with him, and you're telling stories he about was when Chris. he was a so, dude. So, ev yeah. like, his people, though, were like, oh, oh my God, like, he's dead. Him. He's calling dead. you him. And, 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 she, yeah. and, and, and Chris was just like, like, yo, chill the fuck out. She's like, yo, like, we what used is, to. What's her name now? I, I, it's Chris, but it's spelled it's different. Chris, I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to like you know Chrissy. blow up her spot or anything like that. No, no I don't but, think it is. Yeah. I think it's Avery, but um, she totally moved away from the Chris thing. I, she, I, no, I, I think it, yeah. it gets she, used. Yeah. A, I don't know. I think she was a she was a, a, a him uh, when she was young, and then she just fully went for it and moved to New York City. They yeah. went in straight to fashion. Yeah. She was cool as fuck. Absolutely. It was the first time I really uh, hung out with a transgender, but I was like. I didn't think twice about it, and then like it was great cool crowd, spot. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we had a fucking great time and shit, but it was Actually, weird because there was people it, yeah. acting like we were having a great time, and yeah. we didn't think anything like about it. But the people who were being weird about it were, you know what I'm saying? Like well, because no one had knew, an issue with anything yeah. except for the, they, they like, never knew her at, before as a him, but he only knew her as you know, as as a him. You so know who like, doesn't oh, my care boy. what gender you are more than anyone? Fucking sheath underwear. Mo uh -huh. And here's why. They make there underwear for everybody. Especially if you're swapping your gender and you want to make sure that your butt looks really nice. Because let's be honest, if you're swapping your gender, you really want to make sure that you're out there yeah. flaunting what you got, right? And so if you got a new dick, you definitely want to put that in a sheath patch and show it off and go, hey, look how big my fucking my new dick is. Like, this thing's brand new and it's fucking large and Hard. delicious looking. That's why you need sheath underwear. If you're not familiar with sheath underwear... What, what does sheath underwear do? You're familiar with sheath underwear. Makes you feel like a better man. Makes you feel like a better man. Here's what it does. It allows you to separate your dick from your balls. It's got a little sheath hole. Maybe it's not that little, but if you want to feel better about yourself, then it, it looks like it's little and you got to kind of like, you know, spit on your dick to get it in there. <laughs> no, here's the thing about the sheath underwear. Firstly, if you just lie on a good, it's got a good fabric. It's going to, it's going to pop up your, your buns. So if you're, uh, by the way, if you're a chick, they make, they make sheath for chicks. They make, they make women sheaths. They're a very understanding company. They don't want women sitting around being like, how come I can't have a sheath hole? And so what they did was just spin them. They <laughs> for, big, for big clits. <laughs> Throw a big clit in the sheath hole. So they created sheath for women. You can wear your sheath and your, your your ass can look great. And if you're a dude, you can put your sheath in the sheath hole. All seriousness. Firstly, Robert, owner of sheath. Cool ass dude. 
sponsors this great podcast. Name. Great name. They're a good uh, show or underwear, right? Like if you're gonna get undressed in front of a chick. Oh hell and yeah! You got your dick in the hole. Hell it's a good show. yeah! I've heard a girl say on wax also that it helps prevent like the smell. So like if you don't, oh, you know, like right because the shit, dick's not, not near that ball it, whatsoever. You know yeah, exactly. So that dick's gonna be tasty now. Yeah, it's so gonna be my from when a couple you shower. Extra BJ's. So even if the you might get that roadhead that you didn't, you know. Oh, right. You switch your right underwear up. Yeah, and, and she's your like, dick's straight. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the balls are always gonna get a little spicy, <laughs> especially if you've been working. <laughs> if, you, if you've been delivering mail all day, you want to make sure that penis you has been away from your balls. On? Sheath yeah. underwear, great underwear. They're very understanding of your gender. And they're very understanding of preserving the parts that you have, whether or not they were naturally given from God or uh, put there by the greatest advances of science. And so check out Sheath Underwear, promo code RYM. You are going to get 20% off. Now, one of the things that comes off when you talk about people uh, switching genders, typically, I, that, that's not a good transition. It's a penis. So that was perfect. Let me, let me just move on oh, to... Oh, to a transition uh, joke? Ooh, there you go. Not bad. You killed it, dude. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. All right. So a lot of soldiers have been stationed inside of the Capitol building. And the first thing I thought, I mean, this is always the first thing that comes to my head, is bathroom situation because <laughs> senators if you're a senator you've got a really good job and then all of a sudden having hundreds of soldiers just sleeping on the floor like you don't really have to deal with them it's like great that they're there and they're sleeping on the floor all right cool like you know but all of a sudden those they're using your bathrooms i once worked in an office where we got thrown out of the building because usually offices like you don't cram that many people into it but we were a sales office it was just rows and rows of people on phones like there was no cubicles there were no desk space like an office that for how nice of a building it is probably would have had i don't know a hundred people we were a thousand because it was just rows of table of people on the phone so we were sharing on the other side of the hallway was like a fancy tech company and they hated us because there was always a line to take a shit. And I'm, I'm telling, like, I'm like, I'm like a shy shit. There was no shy shitting at this job. Like, your boss would be in line behind you where you got to go take, like, that was the way it worked. And these senators, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's got to fuck, everyone's got to take a shit. Everyone's got to do it. You could be Nancy Pelosi living off of fucking uh, baby blood. At the end of the day, you gotta, you're going to have to take a shit. That's going to happen. And when you're Nancy Pelosi in your office and you're used to your nice Senate bathroom, I assume they got nice bathrooms, it's got to be the worst feeling in the world when there's 45 soldiers. Like, I was watching this uh, thing of, like, a row of soldiers going for coffee, and I could just see, like, Nancy Pelosi or someone walking in, like, don't give them coffee. What are you doing? No coffee for the soldiers. It's a diuretic. <laughs> so I, as, diuretic a, makes you pee. as a joke, was looking coffee. at the footage of these people, and I was like, these people are the global elite. They got into this job... To be a senator, to feel like, hey, I'm a fucking senator. Like, it's a good feeling. They do not want to have to see soldiers sleeping on the floor of their office building using any of their resources whatsoever. And I I wrote this earlier in the week as a joke for the podcast. And then tonight on Twitter, I saw this, that they had moved, I think, all or some of uh, 5,000 soldiers to a parking garage now with one bathroom. Now, I'm not saying that this is accurate. I'm just saying that this was a random post I saw on Twitter. And every once in a while, you're like, "Oh, you know what? My jokes are just coming true. It's like that movie when the people go under the under the sea and like their nightmares are coming true. Manifesting. Manifesting. I'm man. Manifesting. My jokes are man. You know what? We just I'm write a about joke this. about my huge dick and how much pussy I'm getting. <laughs> you you never just know, keep dude. writing those. You never know. Keep writing those, bro. They're hilarious. <laughs> Fake it, till, fake it till you make it. Uh, fake it till you make it. All right. They're hilarious. So the Biden administration, we're back. We're in Biden. And uh, already I'm finding things to be boring. And in terms of just how boring uh, things are. So here we've got Janet Yellen. Um, she's coming into her new position as Treasury. And uh, let's listen to a few minutes of Mother Goose telling us her uh, her policies coming into office. But not until a moment from our newest sponsor, who very specifically hit us up and wanted to sponsor our show. It's, uh... It is Qualcomm, inventing the tech the world loves. Chairman Grassley, ranking member Wyden, members of the committee, it's an honor to appear before you. And Senator Feinstein, thank you for that very kind introduction. 
She, That's a robot. I have immense respect for the task before this be committee. Rebuilding the American economy from its sharpest downturn in history. If I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed... Alright, I just gotta pause right there. I'm one of four people in the world that's interested in these topics and way to make it fucking boring. I listen to her talk and I'm like, you know what? Just give my money to other people. I just don't want to have to fucking listen to this. And by the way, along the lines of, okay, she might, she might be a, a complete robot. robot. <laughs> a robot. A robot. I was programmed. She to might be a complete and you. total genius. In uh, my opinion, the people on the top of the fed, including Alan Greenspan, Powell, they know what they're doing. They get really good paychecks, Bernanke. Then they leave. They get massive amounts of money from Wall Street for basically representing their interests. While she was out of office, I think she earned $12 million making speeches to the big banks on Wall Street. All right, yeah. I just want to listen Robot. to a, a few more seconds of this. Good program. I strive to be a good partner in that work. I've spent almost my entire life thinking about economics and how it can help people during hard times. My father was a doctor in... Okay. <laughs> I was created in She's sitting 1983. Here. She's sitting here... <laughs> by in Bill Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> she's sitting here, she's reading a speech. And now, I'm also... I mean, you can, you can see I'm trying to work off a screen here. I'm working off notes as well. I'm not as scripted as she is. But it does make me wonder if she's almost like a Joe Biden type character, where it's like... There's someone behind the scene almost casting people in a play. They write their speeches. On paper, they're the ones there doing their job. But it's like, it's just a casting role. They're not really the intellects there, or they're not really making the important decisions. And maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe this lady is a total genius. Mm -hmm. And just when you're that smart, you yeah. can't present your ideas that well. I think it could be. I think it could be separate. I think you could be, like, really good at making decisions. But then when it goes to, like teaching people how to do it you're just like ah i, I, I don't I, you know you're just like i can't yeah. however in every in every profession like take uh we were talking about neil uh degrassi tyson mm -hmm. earlier yeah well said so there are rare individuals degrassi. who are uh is that not the way is uh <laughs> no, that's a great that was perfect because <laughs> there's no e but it's perfect it's no oh. degrassi but degrassi it's funny. was that show that drake was in degrassi oh, my bad. <laughs> 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 that's not, i'm about to make that oh yo, that's about to be the image for the that's a meme. Don't, for this yeah. episode i'm just gonna trying be, to do my best it's gonna be drake in a wheelchair with the other grass tyson's it's gonna be going what's he going keep reaching upward What's no, it? What's uh, it? Keep, keep looking, looking up. up. I'm just trying to do my best here. <laughs> keep rolling up. So there might <laughs> be, be other astrophysicists or whatever that are smarter than he is, but he's gone into a certain place because he's both intelligent what and articulate. And because he's also he shaking the, the hands with the right people. No, because he knows how to talk. We literally were just talking about this. But if you're Janet Yellen, I would think that there's probably also economists who are that? smarter, but part of it is actually being able to play the game and getting to these again. places yeah, in you your gotta, career. You gotta, you gotta play into the, the system, essentially, to the fucking so the, machine. There, there's some level of sharpness there. Okay, with Biden coming in, we've got a new press secretary. And what's fun about the new press secretary is uh, I find Dave Smith has said this before and part of the problem. A lot of these people, they seem to have a kindergarten teacher type energy to them. It feels like they're somewhat like, I, I don't quite know how to describe it, but she's kind of got this very warm, oh, sweetie energy. Like you're in a cult and she's the lady there with the guitar just telling you how great the sunlight is. And if you would just let a little of that sun into your heart. And it's quite a change from the energy of uh, Trump's press secretary who is totally hot but had very, I will fucking stab you in your fucking throat if you don't believe what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth and me and my friends have been drinking in Cancun all weekend and you're going to believe what we fucking tell you because that's the truth. Oh, you, you know, you, oh, sorry. I nearly uh, took out the uh, our fire, That's getting our it all fired stuff. up. Uh, yeah. So the line That's that red flower. Biden's new Treasury Secretary said, and I read this in one of the articles, was she said Pisaki, which is her name. I'm sure it's not pronounced that way. Uh, said daily brief. They were bringing back daily briefings to bring back truth and transparency. And to be fair, it is somewhat easy to have truth and transparency 
when people aren't calling the president the devil. Like, when they're there every day calling the president the devil, it's not as easy to show up and do a daily briefing when everybody's on the same exact team in terms of what can and can't be said, then it's pretty easy to do the daily briefings. Uh, and what I was thinking about, and to be honest, I've never really dated. I've never been in a relationship and I've never, <laughs> I've never cheated or been cheated on. So I'm definitely going to talk about something right now that I don't have a lot of experience with, but I think some of you listening might hear what I'm saying and go, Oh, I, I, I hear what he's saying. And I think he's right. Sometimes. There's two people in a relationship. One person's cheating. One person isn't. The person that's cheating is doing it because, well, I actually think the person cheating is because they probably have some other options available to them. They want to have some fun in their life. And they're like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to get some fun in my life. I think what that takes away from the relationship is that like, let's say you're a dude and you've only got one source of pussy in your life. And I get that this is going to all of a sudden become very like, uh, autistic -y thinking, but you only got one source of pussy. Like, if you only got one well for water, you're going to take care of that well. That's the only place I'm getting some water from. You only got one place for pussy, right? You're going to take him out for a nice dinner or to a movie. You're going to do what you got to do to try and connect so that you can get some of that pussy, right? If you're getting pussy somewhere else, that's when you start coming home and you're just like, I don't care because you're getting it somewhere else, right? And so you start having a different vibe because it's no longer your source for pussy. Now, is there more to relationships than you're just trying to be a dude, get some pussy? Yes, I hope that you have relationships that are uh, founded on more. But even if you do, if you're getting it outside, I promise you, you're probably acting differently at home. And here's the thing. Your chick knows. Your chick fucking knows because... Every dude has got a certain a level of niceness that will disappear if you are getting what you're looking for elsewhere. It's mm. almost like if you're at a job and you've got a weekend gig that's paying you double what your job is, believe me, you show up on Monday morning, you don't really give a shit about that job, and maybe your boss doesn't fire you, but he's a little bit like, why does this guy not care about this job? You're not really invested. You're not really there. Okay, so now let's go one step further. So you're this dude. You're cheating on your chick. Your chick kind of knows. She doesn't have the evidence, and she starts acting a little bit crazy. Now, to any observer on the outside, they go, hey, this chick is acting crazy, and you think the crazy person is in the wrong because they're acting crazy. But really, the reason why the, the, the person acting crazy is acting crazy is because the other person is getting away with doing something wrong. The person who's getting away with something has no reason to act crazy or no reason to act out because they're winning. They want to keep the status quo, so they're very calm and confident. They want to pretend like there is no problem here because they are extracting something from the situation. So what I'm saying is we kind of have a normal tell in life where sometimes we look at situations and you think the crazy person is acting wrong and the calm one must be in the right. But in truth, it might be that the crazy person is having something taken from them and that's why they're acting out. Whereas the calm one, they've got no reason to act out. They're being all fucking calm, right? Yeah, there's a term for that, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I'm pretty Here sure. Here I am pontificating, thinking hmm. I'm inventing some knowledge. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure. You're like, sure. oh, there's just one word that uh... <laughs> sums this all up. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the term, though, gaslighting? Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Interesting is when you uh, cheat or deceive somebody and then make them think they're crazy for for even questioning you. I'm pretty sure not to um, wrap I it think all up, but I think gaslighting. No, is, gaslighting. If is I don't want to fucking. Right? I'm pretty sure gaslighting is when you tell someone that there's like like you're constantly trying to tell someone that there's something um, like wrong with them like. But sort I, think I, guess it, I think it. Like, it I think it. Like the problem is, too, like, like if you're, you're you're creating the problem. Like yeah. if I'm that cheating, really right? Naturally yeah. exists. Yeah. If yep. you're, like if I'm cheating, or you're whatever, whoever's cheating, because no one's cheating here, right? Nobody. All right. If, if I, no, whoever's cheating. If you're cheating, and then she's like, "Yo, I think you're cheating," and you're like, "No, that you're fucking crazy," and then she's like, "I'm pretty sure he's cheating," and then you're like, "You make her think she's crazy, but you really are." So that's you, how you get away with it. That's, that's just great psychology right there. <laughs> that's just the only way to play. That's called cheating. <laughs> cheating 101. Once dude. again, the life first is chapter. a game of chess. Had, or maybe, maybe. I'm lucky enough to get laid when I'm single, so I feel like what I said sounds like maybe I, I'm not I'm not cheating on people. I got this information. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Also, it could be from also making, uh, yeah. having someone think like your intentions are something else. Maybe I, that could be gaslighting too, where you like make you build someone up to like think that they're going to be your girlfriend, but you really had no intentions of it. 
That could also be gaslighting, but maybe. dude, I, just, I follow it's this crazy. Like terms. I, cro- I follow this crazy page. This guy posts this like wild shit of uh, people conflicting with each other, and I just watched a video before I came here. This dude, uh, he found his girl cheating. And he parks his car like down the road from where the dude's house that she's cheating at. She backs out of the driveway and he fucking slams on the gas, just plows right into her, T bones her, right? Like almost like knocks her out. And then the dude who she's cheating with comes out, like, yo, there's an accident. I'm gonna help this guy out of his car real quick. He pops out with a fucking bulletproof vest and a fucking gun, lays the dude down in his driveway, goes over to his chick. Pulls her out of the car and lays her down in the middle of the fucking street. Gotta what? stop playing with people's emotions, yeah, man. Yeah, I also have. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's a crazy story. I want your opinion on I this. I just saw it on the way over here. I want your opinion on this, right? If all right, there's a chick, right, and she's dating. She say she's dating. She's fucking with her boy, or she's dating her boy, and uh, he fucks around and cheats on her, right? Gets a fucking gets fucking. Uh, Say he gets burned. Mm. Then he's fucking this chick. She gets burned. Doesn't know it, right? They break up because, like, right? Then she gets with another dude. I'm getting burned. lost in this story. Right, sorry, so, so your boy's fucking a chick. Okay. He's cheating on her. Okay. And he gets burned. But also is fucking this chick, too. So she gets burned, right? You lost me again. <laughs> Fuck. All what right. do you mean by burned? Oh, it's like it gets STD, like, like they the herbs. clap or something. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Not the herbs. It's like like uh, okay, it's so, like burn like like it burns so when you pee. Let's go to the beginning. Guy's fucking a chick. <laughs> right. He cheats on her and he gets Clem- an say STD. the clap. Say he gets a clap while cheating. The clap is actually while cheating, gonorrhea not because he's running around. Okay, so he gets it and then he gives it to his, his girlfriend. Friends, brings it back to his girlfriend. Right. right. His so, friends give him a round of applause for being cool. Yes. Yeah. Right. Brings it back to his girlfriend. She gets burned, doesn't know it. They break up, mm-hmm. right? She gets with a new dude. Right. He gets burned by her, right? Right. Yep. So who would you be mad at? Are you mad at her or are you mad at the dude that cheated on her that got that gave that burned her in the or first? Or did she just tell you that her when man cheated were, on her? She no, she didn't know, know until he got. Burned. How do you know when that? You she were just fucking came this chick, that. right? Uh. Did you know that she no. was cheating on her boyfriend? No, no, no. The dude's cheating and yeah. the girl's not. Well, she finds girl. out. So, so. You and then she you, gets the you, pit, she sh- gets the pitter patter. The, 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 <laughs> yo, this is the thing. The, the amazing timing of this is yeah. that he, he's fooling around on her, gets burned, has sex with her. Uh, she gets burned. Find, she has like an, finds out. So they break up. And she gets with a new dude. Does she know before? She doesn't know she's, she's burned at all. Wait, no, no. So he, here's the answer. She's at fault because when you leave a relationship, you should just get tested. Uh, okay. Who does okay. that? I'm dude. just saying. Uh, dude, now, I now, now one girl, one week, on, on that, girl on that note, week, with with on yes. that note, yeah. the dude, the dude yeah. who then yeah. fucks Break somebody. I assume you're saying without a rubber. Well, obviously to get burnt. Okay, yeah. so, so then the so dude, just I listen, hardly know. Every that. every time you fuck without a rubber, if there's consequence for that, mm. that's just on you because right. you decided to fuck without a rubber. Your pullout game is so, weak. Now, if the person knows that there's something wrong with them and game. they don't tell you that, and then you fuck without a rubber, I mean that's shitty no, no. of that. Like that is shitty yeah. of that person. But if they don't know, no, and this then, is and best you case fuck scenario. without a rubber. This is I, I should start rubber court and like you know you bring your wow. cases so, and I stop her and, and I got like a giant dildo for like a fucking mouth. Like this court's a turn. So what do you think though? So the dude that gets burned by the girl, it, it, do you think he has the right to be mad at the dude that she was dating previously? No, hell no. Mm-hmm. Right. It's too, know, that's it's, bitch it, shit, right? It's too. No, it's kind of to too simplify many what you were removed. saying, make it even easier of a uh, analogy. No, but that's not an analogy. If, that's real. Yeah. If a girl, <laughs> if a girl cheated on her boyfriend no, the, yeah. with some random dude that he had no, I'd never met this dude before in his life, and then he found out, how could he be mad at that guy? He could only be mad at the girlfriend. You yeah, chose okay. to have that's sex. You that's as a dude supply. chose to have sex with strange without a rubber. Mm. What I'm, no, so this is the thing. You get a, on yeah. You. So this is the thing. Best. He gets a new girlfriend, right? And then ends up getting an STD, and he's like, "Well, I, I'm only fucking you. So where did you get it?" And he's like, "Oh, she's like, well, my ex boyfriend cheated on me, and he must have gave it to me, and that was true. Ooh. So right. are you mad at the ex boyfriend? 
That's that, not that, really that, any of your gotta, fucking business. You gotta be mad at yourself. <laughs> right? exactly. You gotta like, it's just Murphy's you law. gotta be mad at the situation. At the law. amazing timing, as yeah. you can't be like, you know, fuck that so dude, yo. He cheated on you before I even was dating you. Just don't fuck strange without a rubber. That's the moral of the story. Well, it's if you met a. What if you met your girlfriend, but you fucked on the first date, and then she ended up being your girlfriend? You still you wear a rubber. I don't know. Of course, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's fun about no, wearing rubbers? It, you last a long time. Like it's yeah, not all bad. You know, no, it's, it's like. Terrible. But then you have to take it off the nut. You know? Yeah, but that like that. But then that puts you like more in control of the situation. Yeah. It's not all bad. I feel like I feel like rubbers almost get too bad of a rap. Not bad. Ah, <laughs> hey, yo, yeah, whoa. Bad. If that was me, I wouldn't have got a fucking nod. Or it's because, you know why? It's because I get laid all of twice a year, so I'm like, I lasted longer. It was more of an experience. Like, it's not all shows. bad. Oh, oh, I do more God. shows. Yeah, man. I'd fucking all right. nut in so a half a second. So about to get Rob laid <laughs> talking twice not, a year. Not bad. Holy we can God, literally Jesus. just call it that. All right, so to go back to what I was trying to get at. Sometimes, by being crazy, you look like you're wrong, but mm. the reason why you're being crazy is because other people are actually taking something from you. Mm. So the person taking shit from you, they can be calm because they're taking something. They want to pretend like everything's okay. Yeah, and they're like, which, yo, the crazy person. Exactly. But, yeah. So on that note, a little bit of what was going on with Trump. I'm not saying Trump was good. We're going to be moving on from Trump. I'm not going to spend the next four years saying, hey, that's not fair. They didn't give Trump a chance. We got to move on from the Trump thing. Yes, they didn't give him a fucking chance. But a lot of the chaos was not just coming from Trump. It was a little bit of a temper tantrum of everyone going, hey, this is a bad president. We can't have this. There will be chaos. Now, suddenly, there's something else. And so they start pretending like everything's fine and normal. And then it seems as though Trump was actually the person manifesting, you know, the the crazy. Now, this is a little bit backwards. I'm saying the media was acting a little bit crazy. So that doesn't necessarily fit my example, but except for that, like, within the press conferences, the reason why his press secretaries were so hostile was because the nature of the questions were things like, hey, uh, don't you admit that Donald Trump is an evil devil? And it's like, well, how are you supposed to stand there in response to that? You got to be like, no, fuck you. <laughs> There's really no other way to treat that. So anyways, the first day with this new press secretary, she's very rosy. She's got that Christian spirit we were talking about. She has red... Oh, she's got... she has red hair. <laughs> she does have the red hair, but the... Uh... What's going to be fun is when these this administration gets criticized because their whole thing is unity. We're representing everyone. It's like when you watched a video game. When we used to play video games and there was like some evil regime that took over and there were the posters of like, we're for everyone. And then like, I don't know, you're like in a mine working as a slave and you got to like look at those posters kind of thing. We've all either what seen this. In, this. That was a red oh. faction. That's the game oh, I'm thinking of. Right. That was you were out on Mars. You guys never played that game. No, that was never. a decent game, but it was also true in Half Life. When you came back, Half Life Two, you came back from the combine, and they were like making these worker announcements. It's just tr listen. You've all seen movies of propaganda where you're like, there's slaves, and they're hearing about the greatness of you know, like they're just equality. Thinking, What's going on, like King Jonah? And yeah, equality. All right. Yeah. So you got. The Biden administration, they're doing nothing other about talking to unity, representing the whole country. We're going to get back to normal. And they're probably, listen, our lives are not being solved by government tomorrow. They're not trying to help us. Uh, so they were talking about that they're going to go back to daily uh, meetings because they want to get back to the normal relationship and the honest relationship and having transparency. And so this is already the honeymoon period on day two hopefully is coming to an end and they're going to start fielding some tougher questions and so here's already the first incident which was hilarious focused on on doing his job to get the work done for the american people go ahead why weren't president biden and all members of the biden family masked at all times on federal lands last night if he signed an executive order that mandates masks on federal lands at all times at the inaugural at the memorial yes I, I think Steve, he was celebrating uh, an evening uh, of a historic day in our country, and certainly he signed the mask mandate because it's a way to send a message to the American public about the importance of uh, wearing masks, how it can save tens of thousands of lives. We take a number of COVID precautions, as you know here, in terms of testing, social distancing, mask wearing ourselves, as, as we do every single day. But I don't know that I have more for you on it than that. But as uh, Joe Biden often talks about, uh, it is not just important the 
uh, example of power. But the- Let's just pause for a second. She's such a sales pro because she keeps her tonality. Mm, she fucking killed it. She just turns it back to the positive and goes, well, I just think Biden just wants everyone yeah. to feel special. And so we're doing what we can to set an example where we do the thing that everyone's supposed to do. And so they feel like they're supposed to do what they're supposed to do. And then at the end of the day, everyone feels like they won. Tens of thousands of lives. Yeah. It, it, so this lady, they found the pro of pros. Exactly. You nailed it with it's. Uh, it, it's like if you went to fucking Bible camp tomorrow and it's the cult like, oh. of uh, Scientology so that we're not hating on religion what? or I believe whatever. There. Yeah, I did too. She was belie- I you thought she me? was saving way, tens of thousands of lives. She had nothing good to say at uh, all. She thing, just spun it. She's like, also attractive enough that you want to listen to her, but uh, not so hot where you're like, she's evil hot. But you're, you don't she regret looks evil up. android, like I said, from DBZ. That's the thing. Bro, you, if you hook up with her, you're like, oh, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, so the guy repeats the question. Was that a good example for people who are watching who might not pay attention? Well, Steve, I think uh, the power of his example is also uh, the message he sends by signing 25 executive orders, including uh, almost half of them. Just pivots to the positive. The example wasn't the thing we did. She knew what she was doing. Sweetie, you're just going to take this toothbrush and put it right up your ass real deep. (laughs) Well, she called him Steve. You're going to feel good (laughs) when it's up there and, you know, make sure that when you pull it back out. So this is the new press secretary, and I'm hoping right away... uh, we see more and more of these tough questions and uh hopefully i I think the honeymoon period is going to be a short one the other thing that caught my eye this week is he had um brennan who was on msnbc if you guys don't know who brennan is um he was the old head of the cia if you do even just a quick wikipedia search on this guy and obviously he would have as much power as anybody to keep his record pretty clean on the internet uh, I believe he was pretty involved and spoke with a positive point of view on the media to sell the country on the torture that we were doing as a country. And one of the crazy things we in do, Guantanamo in tor- not just Guantanamo. So there's Guantanamo, but then the crazier thing that we do is the CIA, because we don't want to torture people. We've struck in deals with other like crazy governments that exist that in the world cool that we just transfer our prisoners to their prisons so that basically we're uh you know we're, we're letting them do the torture for us and then while we'll only water bread people water uh water bread people those uh, water breads <laughs> 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 while we'll only Get water board people yeah. and engage in enhanced interrogations when you send someone to an afghanistan prison ran run by the afghanis they get water they beds can, can i tell you this was a creepy moment i don't know if this is true in any capacity whatsoever but i once ran into a uh drunk um Afghani guy no not a drunk Afghani guy i was drinking <laughs> at a bar and some guy who i would say a priest rep- and a rabbi walk in represented himself as being flamboyantly gay okay s- claimed to work for cia black ops okay he and that he was then. an interrogator <laughs> And he said that the that. interrogation tactic that was really used was that if you are a strictly observant Muslim, if you engage, if you engage <laughs> in <laughs> gay anal sex, like if you were penetrated by another male, willingly or unwillingly, according to Muslim law, you do not go to heaven. So even if you were raped by another male, I don't know if any of this is true. I'm telling you what some drunk gay guy told nah, me in a it, bar. It's true. Definitely is Take true. it or it's leave true. it. So you're saying they, they rape them? Or no, it's they, true. They, no, they, they threaten, threaten to rape them. That no, this is true. I will rape you unless you give me the information yeah. that I need. And then, then these people who otherwise you could torture forever, they're never giving up anything. But they but can't take a dick this, in the ass. Because this is a part of their religion. <laughs> you just got to give them a piece they're, of bacon. They don't, they don't, they don't want to be in, they don't want to be in hell forever. That, what if just a tip. You can fucking take that one or leave it. I don't fucking. There's know. a waterboard. Fucking, you get the all the horses. You know, get four horses with ropes, pull their limbs apart. Nothing. A right. little tip in the ass. A little tip and in the telling ass. Everything. Because you're going to hell for life. You don't want to go <laughs> for, to hell for life. Okay. So John Brennan, not a good guy. I just want to play a little bit of um, just listen to him talk for a minute here. Well, like Secretary Powell, and I think most other Americans, I'm still in shock at what happened yesterday. 
I'm watching the video footage of the sacking of the Capitol is a national disgrace, as he said. And it's clear that many of the Capitol Police, I think, took some heroic efforts to try to prevent the bedlam that was taking place. This was a failure of leadership, of leadership at the Capitol Police level, but also the federal departments and agencies that are supposed to work. To All right, I'm just going to pause it here. Um, if you're not familiar with John, uh, his, his name's John Brennan, right? I, I know his last so. name is Brennan. I yeah. think his first name is John. Uh, if I think you're his not... first name is Brendan. It's Brennan, 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 double Brennan. <laughs> Yo, Brennan, Brennan was on the news today. Uh, he was definitely involved in the deep state coup to get rid of Donald Trump. There's no question about it. Uh, now, what's strange and is not widely reported, let's just imagine for a second that you do have a branch of the government that wants us to fight more wars. Let's just say theoretically that that's true. Mm. There's a branch of government they want to fight more wars. You can look at how much profit there is in wars. Let's just say that that's true. You would think, hey, what are some of the tools that they're going to need in order to get the American public to not just be outraged about these wars? Well, they're going to have to have some sort of control over the media. They're going to have to have some sort of an outlet by which they can explore this perspective of we will not be safe unless we go to war, right? So... It is strange to have media outlets that when people leave the highest branches of places like the CIA, then they go join these, like a place like CNN in order so that they can report on government. What are they going to do other than go, yeah, the CIA is totally right. Yeah, my last employer, of course that torture was a good idea or we never did that. In other words, are you even really not working at the CIA anymore? If you leave the CIA to go work at CNN... Do I really think that you now work at CNN? And you have no connection to the And that the there's CIA. no... And I would think, oh, the head of the CIA has a new job where he's making sure that the media is doing what CIA is looking for the fucking media to do. Do you think for one second mm. the head branches of the intelligence community just go to work? No, you go, all right, look, the head of the CIA is now making sure that the... Like, he, he's now got a new management position controlling the media arm of the CIA. Is this fucking crazy conspiracy talk? Sure. Go ahead. I don't think so. I'm going through the thought experiment of when people are complaining about the revolving door of government, for instance, in the financial field of someone like Janet Yelling going from working in the treasury to making millions on Wall Street to going to regulate them, or you look at all these people that went from like Goldman to being the head of the treasury or, you know, from like, and people go, oh, look, the financial, this is no different than the... It, it, the revolving door of government from going from a government job to working in private industry, whose interests are you truly representing? But then the, this is a more out there conspiracy thought that I'm going to throw at you guys. Cause it just kind of came through my brain and I wanted to share it. I've been confused by John Brandon. Cause I would have thought that I have some sort of a gauge for personality and character. And when you hear this guy talk, he doesn't strike me as evil. He doesn't even really strike me as a sharp guy. He doesn't even strike me as the person that I would think would be the head of the CIA. If I had a vision in my head of the amount of intelligence you would need to be the head of the CIA, I would think it's not a person that looks like this. Now, here comes the real deep conspiracy. The reason why I think that, if we're being honest, I don't spend that much time out of my house. I haven't interacted with that many people. How many of my perceptions about human archetypes are a result of the movies that I've seen from hmm. Hollywood? And now... If Hollywood's per portraying an evil person, and let's just say that there's some sort of relationship between government and Hollywood, they wouldn't portray themselves as evil. So every archetype that you have of an evil person Whoa. is someone with a Russian accent. It's oh, someone with certain mannerisms. It's someone with certain character traits. Boy. It's not what they actually are. You know what I mean? Now, well put. No, I, that's not even... Wait, that's fucking pretty wait, I reasonable. think they've got a term for that. <laughs> it sums it all up. Yes. <laughs> no, that makes a lot of sense. It's propaganda. Sure. They've been uh, training us since the Cold War, I think, to yeah, hit the Russians. It's like hiding in plain sight. They don't. They want you to the think propaganda. it looks like something completely that it isn't. All right, so we are moving on from Trump. That's deep, dude. He gave himself. Uh, he, he he gave himself a little bit of a like final leaving speech. I didn't bother to listen to the whole thing, but if I could sum it up, he was basically just up there saying. 
remember me, okay? If anything good happens from here, it was me, okay? Anything good that it was me, if it's bad, it's because Biden's an idiot, okay? But anything good, it's because we were doing good, okay? Things are going to be good, but if it is good, it's because I made them good. <laughs> that was basically his speech. Uh, and then apparently he wrote a nice letter uh, to uh, Biden, which uh, – I, I guess if it legitimately was nice, then it would make sense why Biden wouldn't share it because Biden's they're they're in this game of that Trump is of low character. It just said eight zero zero eight five. What is that? Boobs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like if he were to write an honest letter, it would be like, uh, listen, I know you touched all those kids, okay? <laughs> I know you. I know you got all the China money, but you know you won fair and square. So good for you. Um. So he has left office, and uh, it's. I almost feel like without Twitter, I, I like. I'm curious. I want my Trump fix. I'm like, what is this guy up to? What's he thinking? What's he doing? Like, where do I have to go to get my Trump information? Like, I'm not. I'm not over Trump. I'm not like. I'm not ready for this breakup yet. I want the insights. So one of the things he said on the way out, and I forgot where I read this, was the movement we started is only just beginning. And I just love that from the guy who was like, we're going to build the wall. Mexico is going to pay you pay for it. And then he's like, we, they stole the election. Don't worry. We've got a plan. It's coming. The Kraken's coming. Just stick with me on to listen. We're only just getting started. He, he's got no give up in him. You know what I mean? Like oh. there is no amount. Like you could be in a boat. That's like literally sunk. Like you're like standing on the top of the mass and he's like, you don't understand how good this boat is, okay? Like we, we unsinkable. We, it's unsa- this is an unsinkable yeah. boat, okay? This way, it'll start floating it's again. Gonna, not only is it gonna float, it's, it's made to do this. It's gonna rocket across the ocean. We're gonna be there so fast, this okay? It's gonna get us all laid. <laughs> <laughs> we all got the same haircut. Yeah, we're, all, yeah. we're all good. We're all doing Jaeger bounds. We're so, all laid. on the way out, he did pardon a bunch of people. One of the people that he pardoned was uh, Dwayne Carter. Better oh, yeah. known as Little Wayne, Little Wayne, <laughs> who pleaded guilty in 2020 in federal court to illegally possessing a Weapons loaded, charges. gold-plated 45 caliber handgun while traveling to Florida on a private jet in 2019. Do you know the content? Hold on. Sorry. The content of Carter's bag also included small amounts of cocaine, ecstasy, and oxycodone. What was this guy accused of being awesome? Yes, absolutely. And you know who has those guns? Yeah, the only yeah. other people who have those guns, we talked about on the shed cast, are drug traffickers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, high-level drug traffickers get gold-plated gold weapons. Yes. Yeah. So then, and uh, El Chapo's son actually had one when he got obtained because when you get arrested, right. they confiscate it, and then it becomes like a relic, kind of. Like, oh, this is the gold-plated gun of El Chapo's son. Like, all the big drug dealers get a gold-plated gun so that it can be it like it's like an artifact that's their thing uh, and it, it will always be theirs like oh that was fucking pablo's gold plated fucking whatever he had because you know he had gold plated yeah. shit so and you know they got his gold plated joints and every, some like probably once every couple months someone's like yo you want to go see pablo's gold plated fucking <laughs> 44 let's go pull it out of the safe <laughs> <You know? over. laughs> so there were a couple other rappers i think that got pardons. kodak black uh, one rapper and and, uh, one and we were talking about creator, this last night. Yeah, the creator CEO of Death, Death Row Records. Because Kodak creator. Black has a song talking about his, how he wants to fight Donald Trump. Oh yeah. So like I'm so curious to I know. So I want to talk. Dude, I have to pee too. I want to know how he even buddies. knew who the fuck Kodak Black was for one. Kim Kardashian. Yeah, that's yeah, what it came a, from. She's, she's a doing huge, the reform or whatever. Yeah, she's a huge delegate for prison reform, and believe it or not, her and Kanye West kind of put in a little work with fucking. The DT train. I heard that they uh, they got a lot of people actually. A lot of people. Yeah, but he, I find what if you like sent fucking Kodak Black or not uh, Kodak Black, sent Donald Trump of like a letter and had that fucking uh, that song attached to it and he was like, oh my god, I had no yeah. idea about that. It was like just send him back to jail, dude. Honestly though, fucking um, Kodak like it's wild. He got shit charged with like crossing the Canadian border with fucking like major. He's got tons shit, of fucking right? prior shit too. That's crazy. Uh, uh, I saw uh, Chris from Brooklyn um, tweeted like, yo, but they didn't free fucking Max B or Bobby Shmurda. And I was thinking, I was like, damn. Because like, do you get, you get, exo- you don't get exonerated when you get pardoned. I don't know. Right? I don't really know how that shit works. Because if you got exonerated, then that means that they would have to pay you for your time served. Like if you got exonerated. Of your crimes, yeah. Yeah, then that you, means you that. Falsely, so like, ma- falsely, so I was uh, like, yo, punished. Max B's been fucking. You know, they maybe don't want. They don't want to pay those years. 
I don't know. He let that dude out from death row, though, and he was been in there for, like, 20-something years already, so that's more than that. But I was just saying, like, do you, when, you, when you pardon someone, do you have to, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't or know. Or is it clemency? Clemency is different than I don't exoneration. Know. What is the difference between clemency and pardon? I don't know. Well, no, it's clemency and exoneration. So, like, when you get exonerated, and you that means that you were, like, falsely accused yeah, you of your fucking crimes. Your Not a chance, feed. Lance. Yeah, you that exonerated your the crimes that they say you committed, you did not False. commit. So, so that means that you would get paid for your time served because you were falsely imprisoned for your crimes. Yeah. So right. if you get pardoned, and I think you get clemency... So therefore, they don't have to compensate you. You just get like you just yo, get free. Like, yeah, they just, just open you, the doors. Like we're not saying your crime you didn't commit it. It isn't or isn't. Getting you're let just out of jail. Go. Yeah. So the other interesting pardon was uh, Bannon got pardoned, and mm. what's a little bit lame about the Bannon pardon is that he got caught up in a financial scam for taking charitable donations to build the wall. <laughs> 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 Which to me is just so funny that there are people in America, they want that wall so bad they will donate to a private charity and then Bannon just fucking taking their them. money. Yeah. Uh, fucking donuts. Yeah, so I don't know that, you know, whether or not Bannon actually was just stealing their money, but I was hoping that that would actually go to court because I thought it was a very funny story. All right, so I was watching the inauguration. I don't know if you guys watched that at all. But what was interesting to me about the inauguration is you've got the real elite showing up out there. You've got a bunch of past presidents. Uh, If you're powerful, you're at this thing, right? And they're all wearing masks, but they were not socially distanced. I mean, not at all. I saw a circle of uh, Biden talking to uh, J-Lo and uh, A-Rod. Hell yeah. And Biden's got his hand (laughs) on um, on Clinton's back. (laughs) These are not people that are walking around with the fear of, hey, this is the coronavirus, this is the real thing, and we all got to be separated from from each other. And on that note, I want to show a picture of um, earlier this year, while we were all warned that we're not supposed to take vacation, uh, the Obamas were out in um, Miami. Hell yeah. And then uh, you can go into the shed case, Shedcast archive. We had an epic argument about whether or not Justin Bieber is allowed to sing songs about being lonely, you can go back. It's we... called. It's called. Uh, believe it or not, Marvel. Marvel's Believe It or Not. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, Good name. Yep. And it was the uh, most fired up we have ever gotten in this shed. I was very, very mad about this. Very wrong. Um, Rob took the side of uh, Justin Bieber and Mike Nice flipped like three different times and he finally (laughs) settled on my side. But on that note, just like I was saying that I don't believe that Justin Bieber has the right to be singing about being lonely. Mm -hmm. How do I get this uh, page to refresh? It's just going to take a second. Uh, Michelle Obama decided to post about being depressed and... I think this falls into the same thing of people just trying to pretend Dude, like they're started. normal. Like, oh if you're Michelle God. Obama, you're as wealthy as you are, and you're taking vacations to Hawaii, it is insensitive to post about being depressed. Like, you, you when you do this, you're trying to pose as being normal. It is insensitive to people that have real lives and real issues. This is no different, in my opinion... That when Barack Obama, I heard him in an interview, he was talking about how uh, one of his daughter's boyfriends was staying with him during quarantine. And the boyfriend is the son of like some super wealthy, I think it was like Saudi Arabian. And Obama started complaining about how the grocery bill was up. He's not fucking worried about the grocery bill. He's kind of being charming and pretending like he's a normal person. This is no different. It's a fucking Instagram phony shit where you're like trying to relate to other human beings. And so you're either pretending to be sad or you're tapping into sadness because you think it makes you relatable as a human being. I'm sure Rob has a different opinion than I do on this, uh, but it's probably the same opinion he had for Justin Bieber. And so you can go listen to the argument we had there. But before I just I, I move on, so you think uh, Michelle Obama has a right to post about being sad? Dude, I don't know, man. There's probably a lot of stresses that go along with the job. You got the weight of the there's world. There's a word for that. I, yeah, there's a whole word I, for that process. No, I think it's, it's called, like, they call that virtue seeking. I, yeah, virtue Sign- signaling. signaling. Virtue signaling? Yeah. yeah. Unless you're and, seeking um, for I actually signaling. agree with Bernstein, actually, on this one, actually. <laughs> Thank you. And, yeah. well, I agree. What, what I else is why, new? What else is new? You guys fucking do fucking into, actually, uh, but. VR stuff with each other. Um, another thing <laughs> I took notice of during the inauguration ceremonies, I don't have a picture of it here, 
um, is that uh, Biden, there was a lot of him kind of walking up and down stairs. Mm, and uh, in my head, getting his steps in. In my head, I was just thinking of that scene in Austin, uh, I mean, Ace Ventura 2 with everybody loves a slinky. <laughs> everybody, and I was just like, I was hoping just to see him fucking day one take a tumble like just like what like the the bands come and celebrating his hip just gives out and he goes down the entire flight of stairs the whole Himalayan temple just yeah just the, the whole the thing and yeah. then he's even dumber but no, they're still doesn't... trying to play him off like he's nah. okay he, he come back he come back like uh, just Brandon... normal no he doesn't make that. No way. He'd come back like the kid from Rookie of the Year with a great arm to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, fucking, he'd come becomes, and pitch it for the majors. Throws yeah. every first pitch yeah. of every game. He becomes a pro baseball player. And then Nancy Pelosi, after all the work she's done to get the Rose Democrats Burger. back in power, um, I think maybe she was a, a little bit upset that she didn't get an opportunity to actually speak at the inauguration. So she said, hey, round up some soldiers. <laughs> I'm going to speak to them instead. And you know, those soldiers are the happiest people in the world that they get to wear masks and pretend like, oh man, you know, at least I don't have to show my face while I'm listening to this bullshit. And by the way, she was the first person to complain like, can you get these fuckers out of my office? Why are they in this building? Uh, all right, before we call in an episode... I I gotta plug our other fantastic sponsor, uh, Yo Kratom. They are the I love those guys. I speak to them, uh, the owner of the company, almost uh, every night. He's one of my best friends. They're good people. If you're into kratom, you can pick up an entire kilo there, a kilo there for uh, just sixty bucks. So uh, go load up on your kilos of kratom at yokratom.com, home of the sixty dollar kilo. And uh, we are going to continue to do video of the Run Your Mouth podcast, and we are going to smooth this thing out. This is going to be the best looking pod, I mean, not us, but the actual podcast, the actual layout of the podcast. It's going to be as pretty as anything you've ever seen, uh, and that's I, that's all I got. But before we call an episode, um, thank you to Sheath Underwear, promo code RYM for 20% off. Yo, Kratom, home of the $60 kilo. And right after this, I'm going to get way more hammered and fucking shed cast my ass off. I've already been doing shots of this Jaeger coffee. I don't know where we're going from here, but if you're not already following the shed cast, go follow the shed cast because we're going to have a good ass time. And I recorded a good. new video for them this week. When is that coming out? Uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow. Dropping some new tunes. Yep. Uh, yep. Anything else you guys want to plug or get in there before we call yep, it? Yep, uh... the shed cast, Mike Nice, CT on all platforms. Sid underscore Floyd and we fucking stay dropping it. That's right. We're going to keep consistent. 2021. 2021. We're killing it. Shit.